Hi, pussies, and welcome back to Therapus. Shout out all you guys in the chat. I love you guys more than anything. We are making this earlier for you guys because everyone, I feel bad. I feel like I'm making everyone stay up so late. Like, there's some people that are like, it's literally 1 a.m. where I am, and I feel so bad. So, like, I, I don't know what time exactly this is about to air, but it's going to be earlier. Um, while I have you, obviously, there's a few things we need to discuss. Number one, Beyonce just revealed her cover art for Cowboy Carter. Did you see? She's like, Beyonce's coming for blood in a way that I don't think many people understand. Like, I think people understand that Beyonce's about to come for blood, like, as she always does. But, like, Beyonce, like, notoriously gets robbed every single year at the Grammys for Album of the Year. And I don't think... I don't think she's accepting that this time. I think Cowboy Carter is, like, really, really coming for blood. And I think she's, like, taking no prisoners. Like... Beyonce's hit country music and it will never be the same is my opinion on what's about to go down. Also, Ariana Grande reposted me on her story yesterday. Thank you, Courtney. Thank you, Ari. I DM'd her a bunch of times. She obviously did not answer. Um, but yeah, that was that was pretty incredible. Thank you all to the pussies for all your support and boosting all my Ari vids and you know, liking and commenting. You now, now she's now she's seen the puss, and hopefully, hopefully she'll come back for more. Um, third thing I wanted to talk to you guys about was that Lindsay Lohan is officially back, and she's back, and she means it. If you don't know what I'm talking about, her new movie Irish Wish came out on Netflix this week, and there is no comeback in this world I root for greater than Lindsay Lohan's. I have been a Lilo fan since I was a toddler. And that is because my mom loves her. Like, my mom was always, like, she's such a talented actress. And I'm, I usually, like, I'm just, like, historically, like, whatever my mom likes, I usually like. Because she doesn't like a lot of stuff. And the fact that she liked Lindsay Lohan and was able to watch Lindsay Lohan movies with me as a kid was always really important to me. So I'm so happy that she's back. Like, I, when I watched Irish Wish, like, I, what? <laughs> when I watched Irish Wish... Like, they do the credits at the very beginning, and it says Lindsay Lohan. And, like, I got full body fucking chills. Like, it reminds me of, like, when I watched The Parent Traps. Parent Trap? What the fuck is happening today? (laughs) And it says, introducing Lindsay Lohan. Like, it is so full, full circle. Like, seeing her do all this press. Like, she looks so good. She has a kid. And also, she could have chemistry with a fucking tree. Okay? Like, her chemistry with this lead guy in the movie is, like, me and Matt were watching it and we were like yelping. Like we were actually sitting there yelping like, oh fuck. Like when, like, okay, well I'm not going to spoil it, but like, it's just like, please watch it. Like, I don't really have the words right now, but like, I'm so happy Lindsay Lohan is back. She is going to have her time on that Oscar stage. I know it. She is so, she is such a natural born talent. She's such a natural born beauty. Like I am rooting for Lindsay Lohan more than anybody else right now. Like I, Love to see her win, and she's winning so fucking hard right now, and I'm so fucking pumped to see what else she's going to do. So, like, pussies, like, I prescribe to all of you, especially you pussies in the chat, like, so we can talk about it. Irish Wish on Netflix. I think it's number one on Netflix right now. It's fucking amazing. Like, it's seriously, it makes me want to go to Ireland, honestly. (sighs) Also, Casey Musgraves released her album, Deeper Well, last week. Obviously, you know, I'm fucking obsessed. I prescribe three songs to you all off of that album. Give Her Slash Take Her, The Architect, and Nothing To Be Scared Of. Okay, those are the three best songs on the album. Casey's lyricism really shines on The Architect. Her passion really shines on Give Her Slash Take Her, and she has a sick melody on Nothing To Be Scared Of. So those are the three songs I prescribe to you off that album, because a lot of people are coming back being like, well, the album's boring, da-da-da. No, no, no. You have to listen, okay? I wrote a review about it. You can read it. It's on my Instagram. I also posted it on my TikTok. I'm in my review era. It's fucking incredible, okay? So now, pussies, we have our very, very first sponsor of the podcast. And I know you might be like, ew, sponsor. But you guys, this is built. This set is built in my back house independently. I got it. I got to get a little help where it's needed. Okay. (laughs) This is a self-funded passion project. Our first sponsor 
is American Eagle. Now you might notice, Jake, why the fuck do you look so cute today? I look cute because I'm wearing American Eagle, okay? American Eagle pants, American Eagle top. I'm really glad that my first sponsor is American Eagle because I view myself to be an American Eagle, okay? <laughs> Sometimes I get scared I'm balding. Sometimes I feel like I can fly. And sometimes I feel like an enigma. Something I have always really struggled with is finding pants that fit me because I'm short, but I'm also really stout and I have really big thighs. So like, I can't, like the pants are either too long or they're too short or they're too tight. And their underwear is also some of the most comfy underwear I've ever worn in my entire life. So American Eagle, thank you for sponsoring Therapus. The pussies thank you, I thank you, and we love you. Oh my God, you guys, I have, a, I have a code. I have a code. If you guys want to check out some of the American Eagle apparel, use my code AE Jake Shane 20 for 20% off your purchase. Okay. Thanks, AE. Like you guys, you're giving the pussies 20% off. I feel like normally influencers come in and they're like 5%, 10%, but no. No, no, no. For the pussies, we're going to give you a 20% off. Okay. Because I wouldn't have it any other way. So American Eagle, we salute you and we fly to you. Tonight, we have a very special guest for you guys. He goes by the name of Joshua Richards and he is so hot. Okay. <laughs> he is so hot. And it was an honor to sit next to him. He is hot. He is funny. And he is unfortunately taken. But we get into that a little bit. His girlfriend is so lovely. And yeah, I'm really excited for you guys to hear this episode. Um, as always, submit tell me what's wrongs to pass that puss.com. If you want to leave your name, number, you know I'd love to give you a call. Joshua Richards. We are here with Josh Richards. Hi, Josh. Hi, hi. Do you sing everyone's name or did you no, just do that just for me? Just the straight guys. Okay, sick, sick, sick. I did it for Harry too, and I just, you know. I yeah. wanted to bring it back for you. Okay, well, thank you for doing that. Oh, thank you for being here. Of course. Of course. Am, I, am I sitting right? No, like, it's therapy. Like, All right, it's down, therapeutic. Like... You can sit however you want. Okay, okay. Just... Whatever is most comfortable for you and your cast. Oh, like comfortable. Okay, I'm good. Which I'm I actually would like to hear more about. Um, mm. So I guess I've never intro a segment this fast, but I would like to talk therapist because why are you, what, what made you so, I mean, tell the story about your, your arm. Yes, yes. So uh, I fractured my hand. Mm. I did this about a week ago. And it was done in maybe the most frat-like way you could do it. Okay. Um, and that was by punching a wall. So, yeah. I yeah. seriously, like, I love that for you. <laughs> You're giving, like, so Nate Jacob sometimes. And I mean that in the best sense of the word. Okay. All right. Do All you right. not agree? Like, that is so NJ. And, like, <laughs> I'm serious. Like, oh, that's everything. Um, Did you punch it in your room, in the kitchen, in the bathroom? I, I went into my closet, actually. Okay. Yeah, yeah, it's yeah. It's a great yeah. place to punch a wall. Right. That's what I thought, too. I thought and it, I was did like, it go through? No, I hit a stud. Damn. So that's why the- Were you, like, ow? Um, the adrenaline was going a little bit Ugh, when it happened, right? So um, I didn't really think anything of it. And I walked downstairs and I started making coffee. Um, and when I was making the coffee, I just was like, oh, my fingers not feeling great. And I've broken a couple bones. I just came off a broken ankle and heel, um, from kicking a wall actually. Damn. I think I'm in love. No, I'm kidding. I didn't kick a wall. Oh. I fell. I fell. I like fell while playing volleyball and landed on it weird. You but play volleyball? Yeah, oh, yeah. Okay. Continue. So yeah. Um, I just kind of was like, this doesn't feel right. It's definitely broken. I've broken some bones and I know how it feels and went to the doctors and they're like, yeah, it's broken. Where was Gabby during all this? Gabby was, I think Gabby was with my sister. Ugh, I love Gabby. Gabby, I love you. She actually told me that when I was going, like when I was leaving to come to this podcast, she was like, you need to express my love. No, like me and Josh's girlfriend, Gabby, get along so weirdly well. Yeah. We really well. bonded. I don't even know where we met or how we met, but like, I really love her. Do you guys didn't meet for the first time at the- Aloe thing? Yeah, was no, it No, we met multiple okay. times before that. Okay, 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 okay. I think maybe the Spotify thing is where we met. That would have made sense. That and then I saw sense. her again, and then I saw her again. Yeah, it's like a bunch of little meetings. Yeah. Like you guys need to really just- We need to hang time. out. Yeah. I yeah. love her. When did we first meet? Cam? Yeah, it was. No way. It was Cam. Did I tell you about how I lost my luggage? You did tell me that. Yeah. That's That was crazy. What would you have done if you were in my situation? Would you have still gone on the trip? I think I would have. I would have just been doing a lot of daily purchasing outfits. 
That is so Nate Jacobs. That's what I'm saying. <laughs> That's what I'm saying. Yeah, I did do, but I was too fat for, because the French are so skinny. I was mm. too fat for anything. And so I had a mental breakdown when I was actually shopping for my outfits because nothing fit me and my breasts just really showed through everything that I wore. Huh. I feel like you're not <laughs> big at all. Thank you. I appreciate that. Like a skinny king, you know? Stop it. Yeah, I are think you so. Serious? Yeah. Yeah, I think you look fit. Like you would describe me as skinny? Yeah, 100%. Like if someone was like, Jake. You'd be like, because like, like, I'd be like skinny. Some legend. people like to describe me as like stout. Um, that I have a really big chest, like boobs. Who um, doesn't like big boobs? Uh, you know, some people. Really? I think when men are looking for other men, maybe they're not looking for like breasts in their face. Oh, uh, okay. Yeah, I'm not usually in that like no, lane. No, of course so I, not. I guess I wouldn't, you know, yeah. understand that. But I'm always looking for big boobs. So. Oh, well, love that for you. <laughs> I'd like to donate mine if possible. Oh, okay. So. okay. Oh my God. Well, what am I therapist about this week? Oh, so much. I had a mental breakdown yesterday. I really, what's your star sign? Aquarius. So you. That makes so much sense. <laughs> you don't think so? I love, no, I just love how everything I've said has been so me or Nate Jacobs. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I just, I love it. I love it. Because it is so you and it's so NJ. But seriously, Aquariuses are like so fun. They love a party. Do you like a party? I love a party. That is so I fun. I love throwing a party. More really? than, I think, going to other people's parties. Ooh, what's your favorite party you've ever thrown? Um, I would say there's like three that I would say come to mind. There was one that we did. Uh, for my 21st birthday that I thought was just a really good time. And it was mm. at Harriet's and it was at the rooftop. I've been to a birthday party at Harriet's on Harriet's the rooftop. Harriet's is great. It's it really fun. fun and it's like you can you can have a good amount of people, but it still feels kind of like an intimate, intimate party, mm -hmm. which I liked. And then, honestly, I got to go with uh, this year's birthday, too, was a lot of fun. I liked the casino vibe. I uh -huh. think everyone had a lot of fun being able to come in, get like $1,000 in chips, and then you're getting to drink, dance, Wait, they actually and gamble. gambled? Yeah, so we had like a poker table. We had blackjack we had craps we had we had a bunch of different games that you could go out and play um so everyone's gambling and then we gave away a cash prize at the end of the night for that is whoever so had most, so fucking fun yeah it was really it was Who won? really cool um it was this it was a random girl i didn't even know her i definitely wasn't the one that invited, invited her to the party yeah. but uh someone did and yeah she walked away with some cash so how much she walked away with like 2500 shut the fuck up yeah damn yeah, it's like going to get go party all night and then also make two thousand five hundred dollars yeah. is a great time. That's fucking amazing. That's a really good idea for a birthday party. I liked it. I liked it. The casino vibe was cool. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. Damn. What am I pissed about? How did we get to parties? Um, you asked about my star sign. I said I was Aquarius. Aquarius. Can you guess mine? Aquarius like to party. I'm not good with star signs. What's Gabby's birthday? June eighteenth. Okay, so she's a Cancer. Yeah. No, is that no. a Gemini? Gemini? Is she a fun time, like a fun party too? Yeah. Yeah. She's, Gemini's she's one fun. of those people that can kind of like have fun doing anything. Yeah. Gemini. That's okay. a Gemini. Okay. Are Gemini and Aquarius meant like to cross? Like, are they compatible Ooh, with each that's other? So or no? above my pay grade. I don't know. The only okay. ones I know that are like directly related to me. Like, I know Leos and Scorpios like should not be together, but like they are always. Okay. I yeah. need to, maybe I need to do some research. Also, like a Pisces and an Aries. Okay. Okay. Well, how's your day going aside from your fractured wrist? Oh, day pretty good was just in Austin. How was that? It was good. We you're always at by. those. You're always at um those businessy events. Yeah, yeah. We were. We, it was good. We did some. We did a really cool activation for Fallout. So that, that I saw that. So, I didn't. Yeah, did Crosscheck just, produce Fallout? No, we were just doing like uh we were just doing like a trailer ad. So cool. we did like a cool little uh video for that. That's gonna be coming out soon. Might be out by the time this podcast is out. And then, so we went down with Amazon. Our production company has a first look with Prime Video in the unscripted department. So we were out there talking with them. And then I had a pickleball tournament I also was playing in. So I had to go do all that. You're like such a business person. Do you remember that's the first thing I said to you? Yeah, yeah, yeah. But you yeah. know that was the first thing I ever said to him? I was like, wait, you're like really smart. <laughs> you did say that. I yeah. was like, I'm like. As I was like. Drunk off my ass and can, yeah, like going. Crazy I was like, wait, one of the things I admire most about you is how smart you are. He was like, thank you. <laughs> um, but speaking of cross check, I wanted to talk about uh, read the room, which, if you guys don't know, is Josh or how would you describe it? Yeah, I would describe it as a sketch comedy show that we were really trying to find a way to merge the gap between traditional and social media. Mm -hmm. I think it's a world that's you know becoming one 
uh, like they're just mixing. They're becoming closer yeah. and closer and kind of harder to separate. Um, so with that, wanted to be able to produce some high quality content that isn't just in like the 15 second line. Right. It's, you know, in that minute, two minute, three, four minute, um, area and then have full episodes out on YouTube. So yeah, yeah no, it's really, really funny. You guys should give it a, you guys should check it out. But I, what I didn't mean to ask. So what, cause we were talking about this right before, but then I was like, wait, let's stop. Cause I yeah. want to talk about it for the PA pod. And I'm just wondering, so like, do you write it yourself? Do you write it with your friends, a team? How does that work? Yeah. So we have a whole team that's on it. Um, for the writing process, we we brought in three writers and then I'm in that room as well. Um, so Xavier, Jared and Chris, they're the three guys that come on and Chris with, manager, Chris, no, Chris Reinecker is his Got name. It. Got it. Um, Jared Popkin and Xavier Phillips. So, uh, yeah, those guys were amazing. They came on and really helped bring kind of my vision to life in the writing process. And then from there, you know, we go from that to then getting ready to, you know, go find the location, go right. find the site, um, do those prep days, then we're doing casting. Then we'd get into the sketch. And right. And we'd go film that. That would usually take uh, a day, a sketch. So um, it was it was a fun, fun process. It was a lot. I think when we go to do a second season or our next project, we'll definitely make sure we're done the writing process before we start the filming you process. you were saying you were writing as We were juggling work. so many balls. It was, it was ridiculous. My favorite sketch was the Airbnb one. A lot of people love Airbnb. What's DSM. your favorite? What was your favorite to film? I think Airbnb DSM was so definitely one of the favorites to funny. film. I think having just, you know, a bunch of my friends in that sketch helped. Yeah. We actually filmed that sketch twice, too. Because really? Because we had, do you know who B. Huncho is, Blake Hooker? Yes. So he was originally the fourth guy in Wait, that I don't sketch. know who that is. You don't know who that is. You just lie. Yeah. <laughs> I do that sometimes too. I started. I'm not to even panic. gonna. I'm who not even that? gonna. I'm not even gonna like hold you accountable for that because I do that all the time. Someone will ask me if I know. I just panicked. Just, yeah, yeah. I just panicked. I get that. I get that. He's a he's a social media influencer. Got it. He does uh, like comedy skits on TikTok, and they're hilarious. I do comedy skits too. So yeah. So you guys, you guys <laughs> would get along. You guys would get along. Yeah. But uh, he was originally in it. We the entire card got corrupt, so all the file got lost. We had to go and film the entire day all over again. Sadly, couldn't be in that. Set, How did you react hand, when that happened? <sighs> it was it was disappointing. Like, let me tell you something. I would have punched a wall. Yeah. See, that's mm -hmm. that would have been a, a response. Actually, I would have killed myself. Oh wow. Yeah. Anywho, what would you? What did you do? Um, I didn't kill myself. I'm still well, here. Yes, you're here standing. Um. Yeah, it was kind of just like, okay, we got to we gotta film another day. There was like no, like, we couldn't sit around and kind of get upset about it. We were moving so quickly. We were trying to get all this stuff out by the date we were saying we were going to release it. So um, it was kind of just a got to roll with the punches kind of thing. Damn. That is so Aquarius of you. Sorry, I lied again. I don't know if that's true. <laughs> <laughs> but that is so honestly inspiring and I think I need to take that as advice because can you imagine if that happened to me yeah, I, want you to really it. I am Josh is good at business that's what I've been saying yeah. Ugh, anywho have you heard Ariana Grande's new album I haven't are you a big Ariana Grande guy like I wouldn't describe me as like the number one Arianator but like this album has definitely tapped into whatever part of my brain obsesses over her is is that the fan base name yeah. Arianator there's Arianators there's little monsters uh, there's kitty little, cats. Little monsters is for Lady Gaga. Yes, though, right? yeah, Josh. Yeah, 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 yeah. I know because Dave's a monster. I'm, who do you think Dave's a little monster? Oh, he's a little monster. He's like really in tune with the stands. Yeah, it's 100%. wild. He's also a Swifty. Big Swifty. Do you know what the Katie cats are? Katy Perry's. Yes. Yeah. Okay, wait. I'm trying to think of more stand. There's Arianators, Katie cats, Little Monsters, Swifties, Beehive, right? The Beehive, yes. Look at me go, dude. The Barb's. Yeah, that's Nicki Minaj. Who else? What other fan? The Munchkins? Munchkins? <laughs> that's Ice Spice's fan base. Is it? Yeah. The Munchkins. That makes sense. Yeah. Munch. Yeah, 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 the yeah. The Munchkins. Yeah, 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 okay. I think that's the case, right? And then who else is there's um Believers? Oh, the Believers. Believers, obviously. Oh, is Selenators? Selena Gomez. Yes. Nice. That's my that's Gabby. She's one of She's those. a she's a selenator. Big time. Yeah, Big so it was my time. friend Julia. Have you met Julia? Julia. Yeah, I don't know if you met her. She's my best friend. Like I said, I'm bad with names. No, that's totally okay, but she's a big selenator. Okay, okay. 
Um, what else is there? Stan Twitter. Stan Twitter. That's all that I can name off the top of my head. Yeah, I don't got any more in the bank. I just know the Beehive, the Barbs, and the Swifties are the scariest. But, you know, the Ari- the Arianators are lo- also low-key scary. Yeah. I don't think you want to cross any of them. No, I'll probably take this out, honestly. <laughs> <laughs> we don't even want to speak on their name. I don't even want to even speak on Even if we're not saying name. anything bad. Yeah. You just don't want to bring it up. Yeah, it's like, have you ever seen Divergent? Yeah. It's like the different factions. Okay. That's what Stan Twitter is. And like all the factions really need to live in peace. Huh. I kind of take it as like, you know, you can't say Voldemort in the Harry Potter world. You can't? No, well, you're not supposed to. Do they? They they sometimes do. Okay. But it's like, you're 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 not supposed to like say his name because, you know, then he can like hear you or whatever. That's how I feel about naming some of these fan bases. You just yeah. don't want to even bring them up. You just you don't. don't you don't yeah. want to bring that into your life. Because you know? it's all peace and love to all of them. Yeah, it's always peace and love. Always peace and love. Especially to the barbs who scare me the most. Mm. Mm-hmm. They'll, they'll, they'll. They'll, they'll dog your you. mom's grave. Dog. Yeah. Like, they're, they're crazy. Yeah, I heard about that. They're nuts. Ooh. My God. Well. In a good way. Nuts in a good yeah. way. <laughs> I love nuts. Kind of. Trail mm. mix is great. Mm-hmm. Anyways, let's go to the next thing. What? <laughs> <laughs> what were we even talking about? Did I say what I was pissed off about? I don't think you did. You just kept saying... You had something you were pissed off about. You had a mental breakdown. <laughs> I had a mental breakdown. I forget what it was about, honestly. It was really, really bad, though. I... Do you ever have mental breakdowns? Well, obviously. Yeah, yeah. Um, <laughs> I mean, I think everyone does, you know? Yeah. I think people just handle them differently. Yeah. Some you punch a wall. punch walls. I scream. Some people scream. I I'm scream. I'm not much of a screamer. Actually, you know what I do? I shit talk. Uh, okay. That's how I, I get, like, I get really aggressive into the shit talking, and that's how I get my anger out. Yeah, you're venting. Yeah, I vent. That's a good thing to Great. do. Great. Let's rebrand that. I vent. Yeah, yeah. Well, let's get into the tell me what's wrongs. And do you know what the tell me what's wrong, tell me what wrongs are? Whoa. Do you know what the tell me what's wrongs are? What? I'm sorry. It's okay. Do I have a speech impediment? No, you might be having a stroke, but. You know, my dad texted me that people who smoke a lot are likely to have strokes, and he sent me that while I was smoking. What a way to give you an anxiety attack. Yeah, and I finished the joint. Right mid-smoke? Yeah, how Ooh. gnarly is that? Ooh. How gnarly is that? You don't want to hear that to start off with a little <sighs> sesh. No. Well, Not do you know all. what the tell me what's wrongs are? No. Okay. So the pussies write in, and they basically tell us what's wrong. Yeah. And then we prescribe them a remedy. Okay. And you know about, like, the puss and stuff, right? Yeah. Like the vagina? No. <laughs> Joshua. Oh. Octopus, Joshua. No, I like your fan base and everything. Yes, yes the of pussies. Course, of course, of course, of course. Yes. Tense up. They are the pussies okay. for octopus. Get Keegling. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so they write in and tell it. They tell us what's wrong. Okay. And we prescribe them a remedy. Okay. Prescribe, not prescribe. I, I, I saw you were doing that. I thought maybe that was a speech impediment thing that was dragging no. on from earlier. But no, it wasn't. It was. No, it wasn't. Play on words. It's, it's a, a play on the pun. words. We have I love it. Therapist. Or I guess that, that isn't a play on puss. They're a puss. They're a puss, pass that puss, mm. the pussies, um, prescribe. Aquarapus? Uh, oh, this is Aquarapus. Okay. Oh, this is Passandra. Why is she called that? She Shut up, Passandra. Passandra has a big crush on you, but she didn't want me to tell you. Oh, shit. Passandra. <laughs> hey, she got like, what, eight tentacles? We can get down to business. Yeah. <laughs> Passandra, stop. Oh, my God. She's so Im- She Stop it. Do you want to sit with Josh? Okay, here you go. Let's get over here. <laughs> <laughs> All right. All right, let's get into it. Oh, my God, Passandra's, like, freaking out. Okay. <laughs> my long-term boyfriend watches porn excessively, and it mm. really bothers me. After extensive conversations about it, I caught, <laughs> I caught him paying for OnlyFans behind my back. Ooh. It affects our sex life, and I feel like I've been betrayed. I get it. Am I overreacting, or are my feelings valid? Ooh, let's hear it from you. All right, all right. Um, I think... Subscribing to an OnlyFans is a whole different level of porn. I totally agree. That's a whole different level. It's of not porn. mindless porn. You're no, prescribing. That's like, that's like that's like you're like you you got to think, mm-hmm. you know. Mm-hmm. And, and you're like, it's just more personal. It's a little more way. personal. You can message them. Yeah, that's that's weird. That's whack. Um, so no overreaction there. Um, and I also think no matter what. If porn's affecting the sex life in the relationship, then it's come too far. I compl- I couldn't agree more. See what I did there? Come too far. Um, oh, that was amazing. Thank you, thank you, thank you. That was amazing. Uh, read the room. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> uh, no, but uh, the I just think, yeah, as, if it's going to affect your sex life, then stop watching porn so you're horny and can pleasure your woman. I don't know. 
You heard it here. You heard it here first, you guys. But I agree. I think you're so valid. She's so valid. I'd be so fucking pissed 100%. off. I think the a once in a while porn, like you can't really get mad about. But since he's yeah, watching this yeah, excessively, yeah. I'd be like, am I not good enough? Like I definitely understand that. Yeah, if it's like in the addiction t- territory, mm-hmm. it's. Was it porn? Were you just. <laughs> yeah, was that the like browsers startup right there? Yeah, it sounded like it. All right. But um, yeah, I would prescribe like, you know, those Jesus freaks who like ban porn. Yes. I would prescribe maybe like following Are one. Are you of just them. talking about Mormons? Oh, uh, uh, well, just do. Ooh. Mormons do not watch porn. You know what's so funny? Utah is, has porn banned. Do they really? You can't even look up porn in Utah. Are you serious? Yeah. If I went on Wi Fi and you, on there's Utah. servers that like you will not be able to get on porn. Are you serious? I'm so dead ass. Wait, that's so wrong. Well, they look at it as that's right. Is it a Mormon state? You can't order alcohol there without any food either. Like, you can't just go to a bar and get a drink. You would have to get food. At least that was my experience in Utah. When did you go to Utah? I went there for, uh, I went there like a couple months ago. For what? It was, um, why am I, why am I? Uh, Sundance. 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 Yeah. Wait. I'm gagged. Also, have you ever noticed that the re- different religions in the world are kind of like stand bases? <laughs> yeah. Except we worship pop stars and they worship like Jesus. Like they idolize someone. Yeah. 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 yeah, yeah it's yeah. all the same thing. It It is very similar. Watch it. In 200 years, stand bases, like you'll be like, oh, I'm going to church. And like you're going to go to church <laughs> and just listen to Taylor Swift, like sing about Joe Alwyn. <laughs> okay. Yeah. Maybe. They're all the same shit. <laughs> I like how you're. Less afraid to go after religion than you are to go after stands of pop artists. Yeah. Are you kidding? That's just what a world we're in. Because what's a Christian going to do? Tell me I'm going to hell? Yeah, probably. Yeah, and you know what a barb is going to do? Dox my house. Yeah, yeah, that's true. That's true. <laughs> Dox my house. That's true. That's true. That's what, that's the difference. They'll, they'll, they will vandalize your mother's grave, and if she's still alive, they'll just vandalize her. Her. Yeah. They'll call her. Stands no no bounds. No. That's but, like, I get it. Like, I, I would consider myself part of the sw- – like, consider. I'm a fucking Swifty through right, and through. I right. bleed Swifty. I see the Taylor Swift yes, Airs tour. I ble- yep. Like, I'm a Swifty. That is the stand base that I would really, really attach myself to. Like, mm-hmm. that is – the god I worship is Taylor Swift. But, you know, I do like to dabble in different religions and different stand bases sometimes. Like, right now I'm really getting down with the Arianators. Yeah. And it's really fun. Okay. Is Gabby a Swifty? I would say she likes Taylor yeah. Swift. Yeah. Yeah. Because yeah, yeah, yeah. how could you not? Yeah, how do you not? But, like, Dave is a Swifty. Yeah, I don't think, like, I think Gabby is more like a Selenator. Mm-hmm. Is that what it's called? Yeah, Selenator. Selenator. Then she is a Swifty. Do you, you know what like, I mean? what, what is, are your favorite Selena songs that you guys listen to together? Uh, Damn. I don't listen to a lot of Selena Gomez. What do you listen to? I listen to it. Drake and Juice World. Mm-hmm. Um, I've been listening to Big X the Plug. Mm-hmm. Um, I feel like yeah, I'm kind of more in like the rap, hip hop. I yeah, listen I to get a little that. bit of country. Okay, like uh, like you know Zach Bryan. But like I'm just gonna say it. That is so Nate Jacobs of you, because <sighs> he would definitely listen to country when he's alone and hip hop when he's with his friends. Yeah, that makes sense. That's kind of what I do. Exactly. Ugh, anywho, I'm feeling really bad that your boyfriend's addicted to porn, and I totally understand the frustration in that because Mm -hmm. I would be really frustrated. Mm -hmm. I think this is a larger conversation because I would argue that, like, porn can become an addiction. Yeah. So, like, your boyfriend sounds like he needs actual help outside of this relationship. Yeah, I think so. Or, like... Just see if he can moderate the porn. Like, yeah, because like, don't be watching as much porn. Because if he's if, it's if ruining... you haven't had the conversation with him either, though, right? Like, have the conversation. So, what would I really prescribe? I would prescribe. Okay, this is crazy, and it might ruin your sex life for a minute. But have you ever seen the Human Centipede? Oh, where are you going with this? <laughs> like, I would prescribe the Human Centipede because it will really gross him out and maybe make him not want to watch porn for a minute. And then instead of going back into porn, he'll go back into the sex life with his girlfriend and stop watching porn. You know what I mean? I'm trying. I'm trying to know what you mean. It's like, not to sound too graphic, but like, you know, you know what? No, it's okay. We don't need to go there. You can go there. Like, you know, when someone thinks about like, okay, in Glee. Yeah. When Finn, like, was trying not to come early, he would think about his mom getting hit by a car, or a mailman getting hit by a car. Right. 
Okay. So like watching the like, human, human mm. centipede will maybe give you that same effect. Okay. And you can just maybe be put off of porn for a minute. Right. Yeah, I see that. Have you seen the human centipede? What if it just puts him off of sex altogether now? Well, you now know what? His girlfriend will help one. him find that again. Okay. All right. All right, do that. Watch Human Centipede. Yeah, that's what I'm going to prescribe the Human Centipede. And also, have you seen the South Park episode of the Human Centipede? Yeah, yeah, It's yeah, a yeah. work of art. Yeah, that I've I've only seen I haven't seen a lot of South Park episodes, and I think that might be one you of the few. You haven't seen that I've used seen. to be my favorite show. What What was your Were you Family Guy? Were you South Park? I was Family Guy. I was Family Guy. I was Family Guy. Yeah, and then I was American Dad for like a hot second. Okay, my sister's big on the American Dad. Really? Now. She says it's great because Roger is like the greatest character on television. Yeah, yeah, I like Roger more than I like Stewie, but I like Peter more than I like the Dad in American Dad. Right. Yeah, that that's makes like a lot where I land on that. Okay. Yeah, Family Guy. I think is just. Yeah, last question. Do you think I look like Ethan Slater? <laughs> Could I see a picture of Ethan Slater? Lilo? Is uh, Ethan Bob Slater the Ariana yeah. Grande? Yeah. I'm a, I need to see a, a, a fresh photo. Because people think I look like him. And what are you against that? I'm not going to complain, but I definitely don't. He is with Ariana Grande. Yes. <laughs> like, that does look like me. I think it's just the eyes. Except he's skinnier. I think... The eyes are what's... Oh, because he looks so tired. <laughs> <laughs> maybe that's because, yeah, maybe you just smoked, so you got the mm -hmm. baggy eyes from the session, you know? Damn. But I feel like it's in the eyes. It definitely is in the eyes. I totally agree with you. You know? I totally agree with yeah. you. Oh, yeah. I don't think that's a bad thing. Mm -hmm. My ex keeps sending me pics of her with guys, and it's been like six different pics with all different guys at the gym. I know what sh gym she goes to, so I honestly want to go there and show up with this super hot guy I've been talking to. Should I do it? Wait, 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 wait. Her ex? My ex keeps sending me pics of her with guys, and it's been like six different pics with all different guys at the gym. I know what gym she goes to. I honestly want to go there and show up with this super hot guy I've been talking to. Should I do it? Hmm, what should she do? She, she's asking if she should show up to the gym with a new flame. Hell yeah. You think? I think it's a little bit of a desperate look. You think so? Like, I would, I think. Acting, I don't think she needs to take photos of it. I think she can just, just is she going to this gym regularly as well? Or does she She knows never go? where her ex goes. That's what she says. I think looking unbothered is like the best thing you can do. I was thinking that she, they both go to this gym consistently. No, and and that's not what it sounds like. she is going there with guys, and she's like, should I bring a guy one time? And I'm like, yeah. I get that. It, you know? I think but if, if she's now showing up out of the blue, never been to that gym before, and is showing up with you, then it's, like, obvious what you're doing. Right. It might be even... It might be a, it might be a better move to just go on your lonesome and just be getting tight, you know? Yeah. I agree. I just think it's a little bit of a desperate look to show up because it looks like you're still thinking about them. Yeah. And I have a really good prescription for this. Have you ever seen Jersey Shore? Uh, no. Oh, my God. You've never seen Jersey Shore? No. <sighs> you got to watch Jersey Shore. Like, go back and start it all over? Yep. I feel like I missed the moment. No. Watch season one through three. Those are the best three seasons. It's before they get too, too famous. Okay. And it's amazing. Huh. Anywho, I prescribe season three of Jersey Shore because Ronnie and Sam break up. And when they break up, Ronnie, like, starts calling girls and Sam starts, like, trying to get guys at the club. And it's obvious that they're both doing it to get back at each other. It's just, like, an obvious look. Mm. It's obvious that It's, like, desperation. Yeah, it's a little yeah. desperate. Okay. So that's, that's what, what I would argue. I would say watch Jersey Shore, but and if you're still convinced you should do that, listen to Josh and show up with a different guy. Get a little toxicity in your life. I I'm, I'm all here for toxicity. It's fun every once in a while. 100%. A excitement. Uh, could not agree more. You need excitement. I am desperately craving it. Because <laughs> if I don't get it, then my day's ruined. <laughs> Maybe that's why I smoke so much. I stopped talking to my best friend after I... Is this real? I stopped talking to my best friend after I found out her brother murdered someone and she defended him so hard. And even went to the club the night he got arrested. She has been there for me for a long time, but I don't understand how she can defend him when he is literally a murderer. I, like, don't. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Two ways you can look at this, though, Okay. Right? So one way you can look at it as your friend is aiding and abetting a murderer. Right. Right? Yes. The other way you can look at it is... That friend is now going to ride for me, too, so hard. They yeah. just showed an example of how hard they will ride for you. Yeah. Their loyalty is like none other. Uh-huh. And they're going to be 
on your side no matter what. So you could look at it as, hey, right. this his friend's going to have my back. Look what they're doing for their brother. Can I say the part that gets me? Because I totally get what you mean. The fact that her friend went to the club the night her brother was arrested is oh, a little jarring for me personally. Oh, that's crazy. I wonder what what is this murder? Yeah. Because murder is so, so broad. broad. Like there's a lot of different murders. There's a lot of different murders, a lot of different ways. Self-defense. Right. This does not sound like that. No, it doesn't sound like it, but I'm hoping. I'm hoping. You know what I would actually um, prescribe? Mm. Okay, have you, what's the show? Is it Defending Jacob? It's basically about this dad who defends his son from killing this person, but his son actually did it. Sorry, Ooh. spoiler alert. <laughs> Dang. It's with Chris Evans, right? Yes, it's yeah. with Chris Evans. He's so hot. He's a good looking man. He's so good looking. America's ass. He has America's ass? Yeah, he has America's ass. Are you a big Marvel guy? I do really. I dabble Marvel. in Marvel. I just think that it's just fallen so hard. And Since it's, that game. And it's been really tough. Um, but I think Deadpool and Wolverine will be a great movie. Really? I think this, de- like, I think Ryan Reynolds has so much control in that film that it just won't be a bad film. And I also think Hugh Jackman wouldn't have come back to it unless it was really, really good because he already said he was done with Wolverine and he wasn't going to come back with right. it anymore. And Ryan was the one that brought him back. So it must be good enough for Hugh Jackman to want to come back. Right. That's for- my... My way of being like, let's really fucking pray this is a really good one. But right, because be. for me, like, after Endgame, it was just, I really, Endgame was so good because it, like, all the worlds, like, really did connect. Yeah. And I think they're maybe having trouble, like, create, like, the storyline was Thanos in every single one of the worlds. And I think they're having trouble, because what is it? It's now the multiverse, right? That's yeah. the new thing. And I think they're having trouble cohesively telling that story Throughout all these and making each one of those interesting because the thing about Thanos is ever, like it was Thor, it was Iron Man, it was Spider Man, and I think the only am I boring you? No, no, no. Sorry, I was just <laughs> I loved all of this conversation. No, I, 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 just, I know. it was a yawn. I totally get from it. Traveling yesterday, yeah, I totally get it. Anywho, <laughs> every time I get drunk, I always end up raging at my little sister. She says one comment, and I go full blown aggro. Example. <laughs> Telling her she's ugly, has no friends, and slash everyone hates her. God, you sound really mean. All untrue. <laughs> Why are you saying that? This has been happening for eight years now. I feel so bad. Get help. Yeah. Get help. That's so mean. This is awful. But I get it. Like, sisterly relationships, like, I was the same way with my brother when we were growing up. I never was like that with either of my siblings. Oh. I, like, bugged my sister, but... Not like that. No, yeah, or maybe is, just in my light. It this like sounds that. like she's projecting a lot on the people she's most comfortable with. Yeah, hundred percent. Which a lot of people do. You become comfortable with someone, and you think you can kind of. But I feel really bad for her sister. Yeah, yeah. Do I cut you off a lot? No. Okay, I've been told that I do that. Oh, I, I haven't felt. It's just like the flow of the conversation. <gasps> Thank you. I'll let you pick off mm-hmm. wherever or pick up wherever I leave off every mm-hmm. time. So, what do I prescribe? Honestly, therapy. Yeah. And maybe some medication. I guess I can't legally do that, so no. don't take my advice legally. Mm-mm. But, like, Mm-mm. I think definitely medication will help you be less angry. Like, maybe, like, a Prozac situation or... or maybe, God. like, get some, like, daily activity. Yeah. Exercise. Exercise. Eat healthy. Oh, and, and she says every time I get... Oh, what? This is the easiest prescription. It's every time you get drunk, stop fucking drinking. Yeah, yeah, maybe don't drink. Because this sounds like it's going to manifest in your relationships, not just your sister. Yeah. But, like, take this as a fucking lesson. Stop fucking drinking. If this you're is t- going to happen with everyone you become close with for the rest of your life. Yeah. Every you're clearly a bad have, drinker. Yeah. This is going to this is gonna come through and everything. Yeah. And alcohol isn't, like, needed. It's not, like, weed. So, you know? Oh, Weed's from the know. ground. Yeah. It's from the earth, baby. Ugh. I prescribe. Um, I guess alcohol from the earth. Ooh. I, but... I prescribe the song I Quit Drinking by Kelsey Ballerini and someone else. I think it's Lainey. Is it Lainey and Kelsey Ballerini? And I prescribe um, going sober. I back that. Yeah. Yeah. I'm pretty sure my best friend's boyfriend is gay. Oop. How do I tell her? For context, he and his guy best friend have a very strange relationship. They love to sleep in the same bed and hold hands. They're absolutely in love, but my best friend is oblivious. I don't know. I don't really think that's your place to tell your best friend that her boyfriend's gay without any hard proof. And also, like, what if he's bi? Yeah, I don't think that's I don't think that's your place maybe in that relationship mm-hmm. to kind of step in. Um now if we're going up for debate if he's, you know, got a gay bone in his body, he obviously does. Right. Okay. Yeah, I I I don't think there's one 
straight guy in the world that's no. sleeping with their friend and holding hands, right? right. You know I, what I mean? I don't know. You can be bi, yeah. I think, and that's dope. Right. But I, I think, like, she's probably right. Yeah, I think she is probably right, but that's for her best friend to see and not her. Exactly. And it's also for, like, him to come to terms with and, and talk to his girlfriend about. I think it's just like a... Mm-hmm. You kind of just got to let that that house burn. Mm-hmm. You got to just watch it. Or or maybe it doesn't. You know what I prescribe? What? Have you ever seen Girls? Yeah, like every day. No, the HBO <laughs> show Girls written and directed by Lena Dunham. No, I haven't. <sighs> How do you have time to watch all this stuff? I don't do much. <laughs> Girls is the greatest show of all time. Okay? And I talk about it every, every, every single episode. But I will prescribe to you. To watch with your best friend, season one, episode three of Girls. It's called All Adventurous Women Do. Mm. And Hannah Horvath, the main character, who Lena Dunham plays, finds out that her ex-boyfriend from college is gay. She also finds out she has HPV. But I would watch that with your friend. Just see what happens. If she doesn't pick up on anything, then maybe she also doesn't think anything of it. Yeah. And that's a conversation that your friend can have with herself later on. But I don't really think it's her place. Yeah, I don't think so either. This one, I guess, ties back to my dating life, and I'm trying to talk about it less because I realize I sound really entitled when I talk about my dating life. Huh. Like, my standards are really high, and I don't offer much. (laughs) Well, (laughs) at least you realize that. That's my thing. That's my superpower, I think. And tell me if you think I'm wrong. I think I am so self-aware. Yeah, I think so. So it's like, you can't really come for me on certain things because, like, I already know. And I've said it already. So, yeah. like, what are you doing? You're teaching me something new about myself? Like, I know. I'm not right, the right, best. Right. I've said this about myself three times today. Yeah, exactly. exactly. You know that's a quote from girls. I've said this about myself Do you want me to read it to you? today? Um, you guys, I love girls so much. It's so addicting. Oh, my God. Okay, so the quote is, <clears throat> Marnie, Hannah's best friend, mm. goes, you judge everyone, yet you ask them not to judge you. And Hannah responds, that is because no one could ever hate me as much as I hate myself. So any mean thing someone's going to think to say about me, I've already said to me about me probably in the last half hour. Ooh. Yeah. Ooh. That's my reaction to the entirety of girls. It's seriously, like, I actually, like, my life's goal is to teach, because I feel like a lot of the girls and the gays know about girls, but straight guys don't really know about girls. And, like, my fucking, like, Jehovah's Witness mission is to fucking teach straight men about girls. Going I'm door so door. fucking serious. Yeah. Like, my Mormon mission is to teach people about girls. All right. All right. Well, you taught me. Yeah. You should really watch it. It's amazing. All right. I'm literally Jehovah's Witness for girls. Who's Jehovah? <laughs> like, who, who was... Jehovah or, or who was the witness to like, Jehovah? Is that, is that oh God, we don't have to get into this. <laughs> I liked you on Raya and didn't match with you. Give me advice on how to make my profile better or how to guarantee a match. I don't know what your profile looks like. I also, on Raya, you can't tell. It's not like Hinge. Like, I don't know. I can't see your profile if you like me. Like, we have to match. Mm. But the advice I'd give to you is I also don't match with most of the people I like. And I haven't changed my profile once. Because if someone's going to like me, they're going to like me for the four-year-old ab photo I have of myself when I was 30 pounds lighter. And that's that. Hmm. I uh, don't have a lot of experience in the dating app world. I've mm-hmm. never really used a dating app. So Ever? No. Ever? No. Are you serious? Yeah, I haven't, I haven't used one. So what I will say is just be you. Because that's the only advice I could give to a dating app person. Okay. It's terrible advice, probably, but... No, it's it's true. I freak out when a man wants to have a date or something more intimate. Like, if we were at a party alone, no problem. I totally get this. But going alone somewhere else is like a date. Fuck no. What should I do? I have the same thing. Actually, you know what? I've been talking a lot. What do you think? Is this just about, like, what? Solving date anxiety? She's very comfortable with, like, it sounds like hooking up... With guys, and she has a little alcohol in her system mm-hmm. at a party, but mm-hmm. she's very uncomfortable like Social doing intimate lubricant. things. Yeah. Okay, yeah. I mean, what I like to do if I'm going to go on, you know, like a first time date with somebody and I'm worried about it, like I understand the dinner because dinner to me is like, you're almost like, it's like a job interview. It is. It's like two people vetting each other and being like, am I going to be able to spend, you know, the rest of my life with this person or <gasps> years with this person or yeah. months with this person, whatever it is. Like, and you're kind of like testing somebody out for that opening in your life, right? right? So it's just very like job interviewy to me. So for me, I like to just go do like like a Dave and Buster's. I think is perfect. Oh I my think God. it is such that a is perfect so first date because 
it's so low pressure. Mm -hmm. It's like there are like people in the area, you know what I mean? So it kind of gives you that like vibe that you're at a party, but you know, you're with somebody there. You know what I mean? Like there's a bunch of people there playing and whatnot. You can like go in a bigger group and break off. You get to kind of really vet that person's like, how fun are they? How much fun do we have together? Are Can they, we dance dance revolution yeah, together? Exactly. Are we dancing? Yeah. Are we playing like the basketball game? Like, what's the banter like? Like, are we like <sighs> making fun of each other a little bit while we're playing? Is there some like good competitive edge? Like, I speak so highly of Dave and Buster's for a first date. <laughs> I think it is one of the best places. Have you and Gabby ever been to Dave and Buster's? That was our first date. Shut the fuck up. Yeah. <sighs> Guys, that is I, I mean, Josh, like I'm serious. That was the best advice you've given so far. Well, Thank you. That is amazing advice. I think it. I think it is. It's just so. It's so much fun. I think everyone loves it. It's like a little throwback to when you were a kid. And it was, yes, I, I just think it's the greatest place to go. Damn, that was your first date. Yeah, that was the first. And you time were just we like went out. And did you go out with other people or was it? Yeah, just, it was like okay. I guess it wasn't like. A, I wouldn't say it was like an official like date or nothing like that. That was more like I was trying to get Gabby to go somewhere with me. Mm-hmm. And we hadn't hung out. She had been to my uh, birthday party, my twenty first birthday party. <gasps> Your favorite and party you've ever thrown. That's yep. so cute that you say that, and that's the party that you like met her met, at. Yeah, oh yeah, yeah. That, there's a lot of reasons why it's my favorite party. Um, and yeah, so I was trying to find a way to like you know hang out with Gabby, and I texted her. And I was like, "Do you want to go to Dave and Buster's? Me and my friends are all going tonight." Okay, and she was like, "Yeah, sure." So then I turned around and I like told all my friends like, yo, we got to go to Dave and Buster's because I had not planned to go to Dave and Buster's right. with my friends, but I wasn't going to go with them if Gabby wasn't going, right. you know? So I turned around playing like a Dave and Buster's thing and we went and hung out and then we just like kept hanging out after that and I feel like it was a good way to break the ice. Damn, that's a real true love story. Go to Dave and Buster's and you'll find love. I wish I could meet someone like that at a party. And Well, I guess I have once. Actually, we won't get into that because I can't get into my dates anymore, I guess. Why? This is your show. You can do whatever the fuck you want. Okay. <laughs> okay. I once met a guy at a party. Yeah. Tell me all we, about it. We spoke for a year. Then we went on a date. And Whoa. He, you spoke for a year, then went on a date? Yes. And he told me, Louis is what? That what? That I've told this story before? <laughs> yeah. Never mind. The pussies know it. Basically, he told me after one drink that it wasn't a date and he didn't want to hook up with me. So that's my... Yeah, it was super awkward. That's my only experience I ever have with meeting someone at a party. <sighs> oh, except one time I met this guy at a gay bar and hooked up with him and it turned out to be my friend's cousin. That was super awkward, too. Yeah, that I could see how that would be awkward. So I'm hoping to have, like, my Gabby moment with someone. You will. Yeah, you will. I hope it just takes a few swings. You Ugh, I saying? love Gabby. Yeah, she's great. So we prescribe Dave and Buster's. Dave and Buster's, do it. Do Dave it. and Buster's, do it. Now I'm locked into the advice too. Yeah, it's, I got a good one out of the way. No, that wasn't you. In. Crushed that. Thank you. You crushed that. That was fucking amazing. My ex boyfriend who broke up with me two months ago and on my birthday, oof, is becoming a monk. Oh. It's like seeing an entirely different person. I feel like I had something to do with it, but I don't know. (laughs) That's the question. Good for him. Yeah. I feel like he's following his spiritual journey. You know what? He's your ex. You don't need to think about him. Yeah, 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 yeah. He's going to be doing monk things. Yeah, exactly. At least you probably don't have to worry about... That's probably the best case scenario for an ex, to go become a monk. You know what I'm going to prescribe for you? Not you, this girl. Or you. Not Josh. This song called Dominoes by Lord, because in it she says Dominoes Lord lyrics. She references a monk. No, she references cocaine. She says, um, she says it's she's talking about next. Mm. She says it's strange to see you smoking marijuana. You used to do the most cocaine of anyone I'd ever met, mm. and that just like is giving this situation somehow to me. Okay, because he sounds like basically she's like he was my ex boyfriend. He was not a fucking monk. He was. My ex-boyfriend, he partied, and now he's a monk. Mm. So listen to Domino's by Lord and tell me what you think. I just think it's like you're never going to have a jealousy issue with an ex that becomes a monk. Totally. So it's like best case scenario. Oh, my God. Pisandra, she's blushing. I, I can tell. <laughs> she keeps sneaking looks at me. I know, Pisandra. You sneaky bitch. Okay, so I prescribe Domino's by Lord. What do you prescribe? Just moving moving on. I yeah. just think it's like, I, I, I don't think this one's really like a- Miss Moving On by Fifth Harmony, dare you say? I, I do dare to say that. Yes. I do dare to say that. Yes. That is Miss what I- Miss Moving what I On. So good. So good. So- <laughs> <laughs> 
My boyfriend has been cheating on me for two years, so I broke up with him. Well, good for you. A little late he to then the party. Show- yeah. He, oh. he then showed up at my house, 4 a.m. to be exact, banging on my door with an apology letter. That's really awkward. When I refused to read it, he then lit the letter on fire and <laughs> threw it in my garden. Bushes <laughs> were in flames. Need help. <laughs> <laughs> this guy is so dramatic. Guys are fucking crazy. Yeah, that is so funny. Yeah. Uh, I could tell he thought that was like a really like hard moment in the moment yeah. too. Like I can just picture him there lighting that thing on. It probably took him like four or five tries yeah. with the Bic lighter Ew. too to actually like get started. You know what I mean? Oh, that would have been such a also. Such if a he bad wrote a letter, moment. just mail it. It's so fucking dramatic to hand deliver it at four a.m. <gasps> so dramatic. He thought he was having like his high school rom com m- movie moment yeah. where he was like, yeah. "I have the big stereo." And Is that a walk to remember? And... Okay, no one knows. Yeah, I know what you're talking about. Thank you. Yeah. Um, <laughs> no, yeah, that's... That's really That's cringe. terrible. I think you need to run. That's, yeah. That's Also, I, maybe call the police. Yeah. I would call the police. Because if he's banging on your door at 4 a.m. and lighting your bushes on fire, like, I would definitely call the cops. And be like, wait, 100%. my ex-boyfriend just lit my bushes on fire. Yeah. Arson. That's arson. Yeah. What if her house caught away? I, 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 I think you should get... Uh, what are those called when you when you uh, you're not allowed to come in like the proximity? A restraining of a person? order. Yeah, I I prescribe a restraining order. Okay, I prescribe a restraining restraining order as well. I think we did a great job with. Yeah, him. that was a. Gr- I prescribe a restraining order and like being happy that he's your ass because like, yeah, because get him out of your life. Two years of cheating. Can we call a few pussies? Yeah. So I do this now that we're done with the tell me what's wrong. Okay. I want to call a few pussies. Do you like actually like live call them? Yes. Oh wow! It's okay. so fun. That's sweet. It's so fun. I every time people like call, it's usually like pre-recorded. No. I feel like when podcasts usually do it, it'll be like a pre recorded. They called in and left like a voice. No, man. no, no. No, this Where's is. Where's the fun in that? No, this is way cool. I want to talk to the pussies. Okay. Hello? Hi, this is Jake Shane. No way. Wait, way. I got your number on my tell me what's wrong. No, wait, I'm shocked right now. Wait, okay. I'm here with Josh Richard. Do you want to say hi? Of course. Hey, how are you? Good, how are you? I'm good, I'm good. What's your name? I'm going to be driving home from school. That's, that's a long name. <laughs> what, what's your name? My name's Cece. Cece? Hi, Cece. Hey, Cece. Hi, wait, I love your videos. I'm obsessed with them. Oh, thanks, Cece. Podcast, Did, oh, thank you. We're recording it right now. Do you want to say hi to the pussies? Of course I do. Okay, say it, girl. Hey. <laughs> Hey, pussies. <laughs> <laughs> How was your day at school? You know, school classic, but honestly, it was, it's so nice out today. I live in New York, but it's such nice <gasps> weather, so Wait, it was a good day. I'm from New York, CC. No way. No, literally way. Okay, well, I love you so much, CC. I hope you had the best day at school, and thanks for picking up my call. Thank you so much. Oh, okay. Love you. Bye. Bye. Okay, one more. Oh, my God. Hello? Hello? Oh, my God. This is crazy. Wait, what the heck? Wait, what's your name? Julia. Julia, that's the name of my best friend! I know! <laughs> Wait, I'm here, with jo- I'm, here, I'm here with Josh Richards. Say hi. Hi, Josh Richards. Hi, Julia. I feel like I have to lean over when I'm talking to you and wave, but you can't see me, so that makes no difference. Oh my god, what the heck, I never expected in my life for this to happen. My friend and I were literally sitting in school, and we were just like, oh my god, we're going to do this for fun, and I was like, there's no way in hell that he's, that he's going to answer. What the hell? Wait, no, <laughs> it's true. I've answered. Holy crap. <laughs> Wait, I see, I see you're a 917, not to, like, dox you or anything, but, like, I also am a 917. No way. Wait, literally That's why. Insane. Yes. Wait, what? Where in New York are you from? Riverdale. Oh my God. You live in Riverdale or you go to school in Riverdale? Both. Okay. I lived in Washington Heights, which is right by Riverdale. Oh my God. Right. By, I'm there all the time. Okay. Oh well, love you. We could have seen each other. Oh my God. I love you. Okay. Bye, girl. Well, Josh, now that we're done with therapist, tell me what's wrong and the puss calls. What have we learned today? Mm, what have we learned? I think uh, I've learned. About a couple different shows that I need to go watch. We learned about girls. Yes! We learned that we need to go watch girls. Yes. Um, I learned a little bit about star signs. Which yes. Which is always good. Always which good. Which is always good to know. Um, 
and when, and and I learned that I need to set you up with your own Gabby. Yeah. Oh, Josh, that was really sweet. Maybe maybe a male version. No, a male of Gabby? version for sure. But yes. But yes. yes. Yeah, 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 yeah. 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 Oh, and next time we need to have Gabby here. We will. Okay. Well, Josh, say bye to the pussies. Bye, pussies. Thank you for coming on. And remember to stream Read the Room yes. on Josh's YouTube. And just keep up with Josh. Thank you. Yeah, do that. Love you, pussies. Peace. Hi, pussies. Put your tents up. Put your tents up. Tents up.